Chick flicks. Chick flicks. <laughs> do by the most bro voice ever. Yeah. Chick flicks, Chick dude. Flicks, you dude. love them, right? Chick, we, dude, when girls are on their periods, we yeah. have to watch them. They're, yeah. Yeah. They're super stupid. It sucks, but man. I, I, you know, like, I power so, through. Sometimes I follow the plot and then I'm upset that I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like 10 things I hate about how much I love this movie. <laughs> Just tell that there are some good vibes oh, we're about in to the nerd studio. Out. We're about to nerd out right now. It's dude. happening. Yeah. We have, you know, there's always, a, you know, you guys can always tell when something's different when Steve is over on my side. Oh yeah, we got a special guest tonight. Please welcome Ooh. our pal Ron Funges to Scissor Bros. Ooh, in unison. Yeah, I liked it. We rehearsed it a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it paid off. Yeah. Thank you. Practice makes perfect. Thank you. We're Working excited on it. for you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Steve has been dying to ask you. I even had to cut yeah, him off man. before the podcast because he started asking so many gaming questions. I was like, dude, we're, we're one minute away from film and save it for the camera. I mean, I, I've, I've been around you and you haven't even known it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That seems like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meltdown Comics, man. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there was a night where uh, it was my neighbor at the time, David Cope. He did some kind of night, and then you were involved. And my my neighbor, Craig, my good friend, neighbor Craig, we we helped film it. Do you remember Meltdown? Yeah, those, remember, do you remember yeah, those days? Absolutely, I remember Dave. I mean, I hung David, of course, and then I remember yeah. Craig as well, coming <laughs> over and hanging out and playing. Oh my video god, he'll be games. so happy. You yeah. remember? You remember Craig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said to tell you hi and he was excited <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was good yeah he was excited start. Coming. yeah yeah <laughs> we're in it we were growing down early we were talking about Sacconis and yeah cause can you show me your shoes can you show me your beautiful shoes exactly. take one off I mean, I've never even seen these. Just a, just a, I just mean, a fun shoe, a fun look dad at those shoe. Beauties. A little bit of color, a little bit of uh, uh, pop to let and people then, know you're fun. And then we, I, I mean, and then I, I was happy because I'm a Sacconi guy too. Jeremiah, put yours up. No, he's not on our tip. Oh, he's got that uh, Nike. Different. Yeah. Oh. And Kevin Bradley's baby shout out to Andrew Nicholas. Great Christmas present. <laughs> so shout out to Andrew Nicholas. <laughs> so you mentioned those are special, right? You didn't get those off uh, Melrose or Fairfax. You got those online, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a big sneaker head. I love buying sneakers a lot. I've, I've designed a couple of pairs of sneakers. And so I just love sneakers quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how many pair of Sacconis do you think you, you have right now? I think I have, of Sacconis, I have um, four, and I just bought another pair. The ones that you showed me on your phone? No, I have those already. You have those already? Yeah. How much are those? I I think when I bought them, they were 85, but I think they're more now. See, that's why we love Sacconi, man, you know, frugal brothers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're frugal and they're fun. You got to get with the program. I mean, these were given to me. <laughs> but you don't have a pair of Sacconi. No, I've never yeah. worn them before. Plus, you I mean, you the Velcro straps are always... Go ahead, Ron. Get, let them have it. It's just never a good look for a, <laughs> a person of full faculties. Go what? ahead, Ron. Go ahead. Go, wait, 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 wait. Stay on him. Ron, no, don't no, don't no. let him off the hook, Hold Ron. on. Go, stay on him. Stay on him. Full <laughs> faculties? I, maybe I misspoke of a person not on the spectrum. Dude, go ahead, Ron. Go ahead, Ron. Keep uh, stay on. It. I stay just on say, it. and I just say that because my son, who is on the spectrum, wears a lot of shoes with Velcro because he doesn't. So you are my so I'm Velcro you're, Bros you're, so with his son. Yeah, man. You're on, yeah, you're on the spectrum as well. Then if the Velcro, right? Well. <laughs> Is, I guess I could be yeah. Spectrum by Association with yeah. the Velcro shoes. Mm-hmm. I like that rap group from the S- 80s. Spectrum by Association. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the covers. They were yeah. The, yeah, they were on the forefront of accessibility. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they were, yeah. I, they were real big when uh, I was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I like, dude. I've worn Velcro for years, man. Did you not know that about me? No, I didn't. Even know that. Even before these, I did not know that. I was the kid who wore Velcro as a. I was a. I guess a hipster before a hipster. I wore Velcro in high school, and I thought I, I loved it. I loved it. Is your like your wallet too? I had a Velcro wallet too. Yeah, like. What you do now or when? Yeah, How dude. late? Like, what do you mean? As a teenager or an adult? What a Velcro wallet? Yeah, I haven't had a Velcro wallet in a while. Okay, why? I have a ridge. Why wouldn't you have a Velcro wallet now? Why wouldn't I? Yeah, it's not as they're not as great as <laughs> as other products now. What? Why? Because like. The coin purse, like the zipper that's on the inside, like I try not to carry loose change in my pockets anymore. And I, I try to carry a thin uh, extra uh, wallet is, is who sponsors us, not <laughs> Rich. Whoops. You were doing a, what are you doing a sponsorship? Or yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's what I carry in my yeah. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you break that out? You sleep on a helix? Do a little commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> if Helix wants to send a mattress, I'll be sleeping on that real soon. <laughs> Is that still around the Helix mattress? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you got one of those too, Ron? Yeah, I got one. My you put it in my son's room for nice. him. Nice. Yeah. And what promo code do you yeah, use? Yeah, what promo code? I don't know if they're sponsored currently for yeah. me. So oh, okay. I make what are the sure. advantages? I just of got that? an email from uh, Better Help that I got to start mentioning them on other people's podcasts in order to keep it going because oh, we're not doing what? it. So Better Help. Better Help. Promo code slash Funches. Yeah. No matter what go. podcast you're watching, Yo. they can help you out at any time. This yeah. is a new tactic going on other people's podcasts with your promo code. Your, yeah, you're yeah. doing your promo yeah. code. And then put that out so they could well use enough. the promo code. Good good look. <gasps> so back to the Helix. Uh, is there a really quality mattress there? The Helix? Yeah, of course. So what's, they, uh, what's they special about the... They're custom fitted to yeah, you. Yeah, they're custom fitted. They're custom fitted. Yeah, that's what I love about anything is oh, a custom wow. fit. I love a custom fit. Yeah, is it? Is Me the... too. <laughs> yeah, those are for nobody else. See, I know he's get. Hey, I didn't he's do it. He's going the... in on yeah, me. I like Ron. I like what you're doing, Ron. Ron, I like what you're doing. <laughs> no, I didn't no. do it. Steve loves it because I didn't do it. I dish it to Steve he sometimes. Gives, yeah, he gives mm -hmm. me a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Yeah, a little bit sometimes. Really? But you, but you look out. I even you mostly out? look out. You mostly look okay. out. You, you mostly really look out. said it like a married couple too, where you felt safe because you were in mixed company. You <gasps> did like you wouldn't feel safe to have said this alone. Yeah, are we like a married couple? You do. You do do this to me, and I went sometimes. No, I, I don't. You make. Yeah, seem, no, no. You I don't do that, dude. Do. You win Ron, he, come on, man. I promise. When Steve Defend gets upset, me, he's like, come on. Like, no, you, I don't do that, man. Yes, I, he, no, yeah. I don't, I'm not a violent guy at all. I'm a gamer, and I want to get to video games No, no, with no. You. We got to stay gamer, on this dude. for one second. I'm on second. Warzone all day. Because don't lie. You do do that. I'm when not a violent guy. I'm when not I, a violent when guy. When I say something... No. About yeah, I, I say think about it. I no, do that. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I go. <laughs> this I is when the cameras it. are not rolling. Yeah. When they're not rolling, you're no, like, no, you're making it seem like I'm a UFC kind of like a tough. No, guy. your yeah, wrestling bro, flares yeah. up from the yeah. past. Ron, I used to wrestle in high school. Okay. Yeah, I wore tights and the whole thing. Oh, that yeah. seems fun. Yeah. <laughs> Do they call them tights? Singlets. Yeah, they're definitely. Yeah, singlets. Tights. Yeah, yeah, yeah singlets. Sure. Yeah. He's a. You know, he's a big wrestling guy, right? You are not of amateur descent, but <laughs> professional. <laughs> he just called like, you an amateur, amateur, bro. I know, I am. Get I am. I never to, made it to the pros. From, from well, the, yeah, a he, road people session people from when they Ron say they wrestle in high school, they usually don't mean they hit each other with chairs and tables. No. They usually. But how much better would that be? I would love it. Yeah. High school wrestling. They did with a whole chairs? South Park episode about that. Ah, uh, genius. So who are some of your favorite wrestlers growing up? Like, were you around during like um, Hulk Hogan and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was one of the first matches I saw. It's Hulk Hogan Hulk. versus Earthquake at the Rosemont oh, Horizon. Wow. In a Do you remember uh, Jimmy Superfly Snuka? Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, uh, Coco sure. Beware. Yes, absolutely. And his bird Frankie. Which is fun. <laughs> Well, uh, Hillbilly Jim. Yeah, of course. Oh so Hillbilly you know all the old. You know your stuff. Yeah, he knows the stuff I'm for sure. I'm starting a wrestling podcast. Oh yeah. my goodness! Yeah, British Bulldogs. Of course, I know both of them. <laughs> and Matilda. The only Matilda I know is a little girl with magic powers. <laughs> <laughs> She's great too. And then I think then. Um, 
Danny DeVito do something with wrestling? I don't know. It seems like he would have. He would have been great mm-hmm. as a wrestler. Absolutely, he would have. Like yeah. a little potato. Oh. Yeah. I mean, he I mean, he was the penguin in Batman. Like he could have mm-hmm. easily wrestled as the penguin. Yeah. And I don't know if you know this, but I sat in his chair. I, mean, I already told this story, but yeah, me and Danny DeVito uh I did I did something bad. Uh, my brother invited me to Tell him about it. So, I was at this award show. Uh it was in Koreatown, I think uh, Quentin Tarantino was like there hosting it, and my brother was one of the announcers, and I was backstage. And I, I'm sober now, but I was drunk back then, so I was backstage drinking people's drinks, and I was sitting in Danny DeVito's uh, spot, and I, and he questioned me. He goes, uh, "I think you're sitting, I think you're sitting where where I was sitting," and I go, "No, nah, dude, this is my spot." <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, so I embarrassed myself there, Ron. And then I also... He alpha Danny alpha'd, DeVito. Yeah, I, <laughs> and then I also kind of fanned out on uh, Ralph Macchio that night because I, I grew up with Karate Kid. I love Karate Kid. Mm-hmm. And I, I did a little it? kung fu thing in front of him, too, as well. I yeah. feel like he probably didn't like that. No, no, I don't. Yeah, I was never invited again to one of those things ever. It, well, what a way to have the the one you did go to. A lot of people are just a, a wallflower for uh, twenty of those events. The one that you went to, you have made sure you were remembered. <laughs> I fun. hope he doesn't remember that. So, I, can I make an uh, amends to Danny if he ha- happens to be watching? He Scissor might be Bros. watching Scissor Bros. right okay, now. So he yes. loves it. No, people, you never know who's watching. I know it's so, the internet. So, Danny, um, I'm sorry for sitting in your seat, and I was wrong. I'm 14 years sober now. And I apologize for sitting in your seat, and it'll never happen again. Oh, I'm re- missed to say, uh, Ron, we didn't even introduce you to our giraffe, Gerald. Oh, cool. That's his name? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a fun name. I like that. Do you have any questions for Gerald? Um, I mean, I just mostly just wonder why he feels the need to stand so close to me. <laughs> I mean, Gerald? I just long for human connection, and you're so sweet. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Want to bump uglies? Gerald, do you have any questions for Ron? It's weird that he's so close, and yet I can have a so difficult time hearing him. Also, it feels like he got beef with me. No, he's friendly, Ron. Oh, the bitch saw through my niceness. How would you respond to that, Ron? Yeah, you want to fucking go? Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You're coming in hot to this oh, podcast, Ron. <laughs> I like your energy tonight, yeah, man. Me. You know me. Yeah. I do know you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Ron, over here is our friend Terrence. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you want to ask our friend Terrence? It, are you named after acclaimed actor and some, it's hard out there for a pimp uh, performer, Terrence Howard? Oh, yeah. Hustle and Flow. Mm-hmm. Damn good movie. Mm-hmm. My Terrence, what do you have to say to that? Ron, we'll let him... I was around thousands of years before Terrence Howard. Does that answer your question? It does. I really appreciate you sharing that with me, and I know that was difficult. I haven't been awoken for a while, so I appreciate the conversation. Okay, well, now that you've met everybody on set, I think that we should do some scissors. Yeah. Have you ever done, uh, You, I mean, you you said you've seen some clips of Scissor Bros, but I'm excited to do some scissors with you because well, one thing that I really like about your podcast mm-hmm. is you do positive affirmations mm-hmm. on your on your podcast. Mm-hmm. In this podcast, we try to keep the positivity up as high as possible. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So it's real, real mm-hmm. easy. And, and, you know, you viewers and listeners can do it along home, at home with us is we just cross our arms like this and we, and we, Cross out the negativity. Yeah. Ron, how many do you want to do? How many scissors would you like to do? Feels like three. Okay, let's do okay, three. We'll just do three? Yeah. Okay, okay. ready? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Make them count. One, two, and three. So good. You know yes. how we know. <laughs> you know how I know that we're linked? We always do things. In threes yeah. on this podcast, and you didn't an even know that. Thing, yeah, I didn't know that. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I have to touch my fridge three times. Yeah, I do threes. 
it, it, like an OTD type of yeah, thing? Yeah, I think I, I'm about to go see a psychiatrist. So I have, I think I have a combination of OCD. Um, um, well, maybe you could uh, go to betterhelp.com and use the promo, promo code, code fungus. fungus. Go to betterhelp.com <laughs> slash fungus, okay? Tell them they can help you yeah. out there. It's not fungus. It's, it's fungus. Code, yeah. Fungus. Yeah. Oh, funches. That's what I said. You said funches. Ron, did I say fun? No, I didn't say funches. You said funches. I said funches. I mean, I'll, it's, f- <laughs> it's in my ear right now, brother, yeah, but yeah. we can, you can re- play it back. Play yeah. it back the podcast. Funches. Did Steve say funches or did he say funges just a second ago? Funges. 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 Well, I meant funches. Thank you. <laughs> I meant funches. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I have a combination of different things going on too. And you mentioned, <laughs> you mentioned y- y- your son has is on this spe- spectrum as well. Do, I mean, th- that's interesting to me because I don't know much about autism, but I think I may have a little bit of that too. Yeah. Me myself. Who doesn't? <laughs> you you think know? he does? I mean, from the shoes again. Previously, yes. Uh, but who knows? It's just everybody, you know. That's why it's such a spectrum. Everybody mm. has a little bit of something. It's just neurodiversity. Yeah. All our brains work a little bit differently. How do you define? How do you define like uh, autism? Because I don't know much about it. I mean, as far as because you probably are well read on this. As far as uh, well, I mean, if all types of autism are different. So mm-hmm. the, you know, different people affects people in different ways. For my son, and for a lot of people, it just shows up with like developmental d- uh, delays and mm-hmm. speech delays and, mm-hmm. and things of that nature. Sometimes texture issues. What about social? Like, is, oh yeah, yeah, of course, certainly. Like, uh, yeah, okay. So you never, you know, I I've, I don't really talk about this, but I, I feel like I, you know. You I, think you're on the spectrum? I think so, a little bit, a little bit. When did you start feeling this? Well, I've read comments on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those will make you feel that way. <laughs> For sure. Uh, you know, so mm-hmm. I'm sensitive, you know. I don't read much, but uh, s- some of them I if do. If we're going off YouTube comments, yeah. I got to do then. You, really? Somebody commented. Someone on, said, "Hold on, you say yours first, and then I'll some, say mine." Somebody commented, that "There's like, how does Jeremiah not know that he's neurodiverse?" <laughs> That's what someone said. <laughs> I like that one because it just seems like they're trying to help you. Like it's not rude. It at wasn't all. malicious at all. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was yours? Like some idiot savant autistic, just yeah, just like I'm an idiot or something. But they called you a savant. Yeah, something that's like I. Sometimes I don't realize that I do something. I you know I do something, but it might be a brilliant thing. But I don't realize. Oh, that's a smart thing I just did or something. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Is that autism? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think I can diagnose you. Yeah, but the you know the fact that you guys you have a plant and a giraffe and the wallpaper <laughs> that you have. <laughs> They're all things that I would. Is this on the spectrum too? Terrence and Gerald's on the spectrum too. All of this. Yeah, it is a bit weird, huh? Like this is not a you, your ordinary pot. Like just our setup is different. I mean, these are our friends. I man. know, I but but it's like, dude, we're I we're, know what men, you're we're talking about. grown men. When the, this looks like a. Yeah, sometimes it's easier to talk through a tree than to let your own feelings out. Yeah. I just realized that we may we may have to change this all up. What do you mean, you may man? Make them more a little bit more grown up. <laughs> Come, no, no way, way man. man. What do you think? No, no, I don't want to break what's going up. You guys got you like the vibe and everything. Got good vibe. There's an openness now. What do you guys feel now? Did he, Jesus and Mario breaking up? Do you feel like you guys are next to get a big show and then fall apart at friendship wise, or yeah. would you be open to that? How much money would it take for you guys to be open to ruin your friendship completely? Really. Now that's, that's a question. Oh, that's a great. Wow. That is a Ron, great question, uh, Ron. That's legitimately yeah, a good question. That's really yeah, insightful let's... there. Please. Um, how much do you think? <laughs> what do you put it come to? <laughs> we should agree on this. Okay, we should agree on this. Um, it's got to be a six figure so thing, would, right? I knew. This would break yeah, our see, friendship up. I also knew that right away. I knew it wasn't seven figures. I knew it was. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know that? How'd you know that? Oh my god. Yeah. 
<laughs> he knew it, dude. He's, he's smart, dude. This guy knows what he's talking about. I know. This guy's I got smart. a number in my head. I think. Oh, okay, let's play this wait, game. Wait, you got wait, a number in your head? Okay, okay. Here okay, we go. and then we'll, we'll, we'll give you our answer, but then you reveal that at the end. Mm -hmm. So describe what's the deal again what would break up our friendship and, and this podcast in a monetary amount yeah mon you need a, a monetary you know i mean just from the the, the way things seem to go whether it's the uh everyday struggle people the joe budden podcast uh the uh now Jesus and Meryl. if you have a podcast where it's you and your best buddy and it gets really successful eventually something's gonna come between you and so you gotta know going into that that you're going to break up and that at some point you'll never talk to each other again so you gotta figure out how much money makes it worth it for you i got love for this guy though you know i what love mean? this guy uh -oh. that's true i'm not asking okay. you to just get, do it for 50 bucks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a real amount <laughs> <laughs> Is Steve is really thinking about it now. He's really no, thinking about I, it. You feel like you have to. Yeah. Where what where I won't see this guy ever again. It's like, hey dude, here's, no, you'll your, see him. here's your money. You'll see here's him. my money piece. No, like you'll that type see of him deal? again, but it will always be awkward. Tarnished, yeah. And people will <laughs> there will be beef between like what oh, happened with, like, like you'll go into a baseball game and you'll walk in twelve twelve feet ahead of him, then, not acknowledging him, and then he'll walk in oh, after oh, you. That makes me sad. That's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's gotta be in the millions then. Mm, really? You think so? Well, you yeah, you, yeah. Don't go ahead. Four hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that your amount? I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, brother. I'm just kidding. Yeah, four hundred fifty thousand. I thought that was a funny yeah. number. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that did, did you hear someone say two? No, no, I didn't did say you two. Did you say two? No, no I, was, I was gonna say two point eight. <laughs> no, 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 we no, were no, talking no. in the hundred thousand. Did Dude, you use million though? Million, <laughs> million, in in the million. Is right, it? Ron. Right, Ron. I don't think so. Two point eight. <laughs> two point eight. He three. almost said two hundred grand. <laughs> no, not two hundred grand. Are you out of your mind? Why would I lowball the four hundred fifty thousand dollars? That's absurd. <laughs> Ryan, come on, dude. Come on, defend me a little. Okay, bit. okay. Yeah. It would have to be in the millions. Okay. Five million. Five million. Wow, you're ridiculous. That seems like a lot. Well, I love this guy. I love right, you, man. Yeah. True. Okay, yeah. I said five. Okay. I feel. Well, hold on. Let's... Now, okay, go. Sorry, yeah, you gonna go? No, no, no. We want. We want. No, no, but you have to say yours. Cause I'm gonna, they're gonna be five million. Oh, Steve, five million, five million. And then you didn't say yours. Yeah, you say yours. <sighs> I don't. Oh, that's a hard I'll one. I'll look man. away, dude. Go ahead. I'll look away. We we could agree on five. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. I love five, you, man. I love you too. Five. Million. I'll see you at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. <laughs> okay, I know more about Jeremiah and his background than Steve. Yeah. So I I'm have a couple dude. questions. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any kids? Do you have any? I have one other podcast. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And okay. He has a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He has a girlfriend. Yeah, long distance right now. Long Shout distance. Out to her. So still just you. So you feel Pittsburgh like you could hold it out longer. I feel like that for sure. For sure. I feel like for Steve, the answer probably truly is at least two million dollars i don't feel like five i feel like five is hopeful but i feel like two million might be enough five for sure he did say five yeah jeremiah i feel like if i gave you six hundred thousand dollars tax-free today tax-free six hundred thousand <laughs> but he has kids man exactly he has kids man Oh my, that's, dude, look at him. Don't look at me. He said it. This, look at him, dude. This is a sad revelation today. <laughs> hey, 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 we got to clear the air right now with three more scissors. <laughs> three more okay, scissors. Three okay, more okay. Scissors. okay. Uh, one. <laughs> Two, two and three. Okay, yeah, we're yeah. done with that talk. Yeah. We are. <laughs> we, we are. I didn't like that one. I'm sweating. Oh I'm, 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 you're I'm, making me sweat I'm sweating too. right now. Yeah. I, the, the, the temperature just raised in here a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. You would think it'd be more because you have kids. 
He gave me more of the benefit he's saying, of the doubt. He's saying because I have a child that I'm more desperate than you <laughs> to, 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 to take the money. That's what the reality is. Oh my god! Because I'm like, oh, that could buy a lot of shoes and food diapers, for my food, yeah. for my kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is real talk. This is, is, this is some deep. Oh man, Ron just comes <laughs> in to roast, and then wow. and then chop us down. Divide and conquer. <laughs> Divide and conquer. Divide He's gonna be the last conquer. Funches standing by the oh, end of this podcast. Oh my <laughs> okay. You know what? We should let let's try to make up a song with Ron. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's kind I of like that, I have a video game vibe because I want to get to the video games after this as well. Okay. Okay. You ready to do some singing, Ron? Sure. Our hero wakes from his bed. Last night he slept so well Cause he was fed A Pokemon looks at him through the windowsill And he wonders if it, he should capture or kill He goes outside and leaves his mom's house it's not a Pokemon, but just a simple field mouse Contemplating friendship in every direction Wondering where his friends are He looks up to the sky and he sees the moon And one single star And that star's name is Rose that star's name is Ron. A man wakes from his bed. He's feeling well fed. He's happy with his choices. Cause now he has 600 grand. Stevie's dead to him He never will see him again Well, all the diapers are paid for And the stress is all for him His only friend is a star And that star's name is Ron he wonders what happened in life and what went wrong because Stevie's gone. He's gone. Game over. Good song, guys. Good one, guys. <laughs> Real good. One. Do you want a rebuttal? No, I no, 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 no. <laughs> you want a little no, rebuttal? Yeah. I think you should. No, no, wait, no. Wait. no. <laughs> oh yeah, he's been my friend the whole time. Five million dollars is what I said, but you know where my heart stands. You're my scissor brother I'll walk with you to The end of time It's so hypothetical I love you too Hypothetical It's a hypothetical rhyme We're just talking Let's game over together. So Starfield's coming out, huh? Yeah, it looks fun. <laughs> yeah.
yeah. Are you pretty excited about that game? Yeah, I mean, it seems like it'd be a bit much for me, but I'm excited to start it up and then play it for like six to seven hours mm-hmm. and then play something else for what a while. What are you excited about? Have you seen the trailer for that? Oh, yeah, I have yeah. seen it. It seems, makes it look like it's fun, just the amount of planets and exploration yes. makes it seem so much fun. Well, I think over me. a thousand planets or yeah, something like that. Yeah, that seems, again, it was, it's, as a parent, it seems yeah. like too much for that's me. A, that's, a, that's a bit much, huh? It's a lot of planets you to You could explore. mine, you could build your own spacecraft, or whatnot. I mean, you probably you wouldn't have time for that. I mean, you would have to really dive into that. Yeah, I'm you play other Bethesda games? Uh, yeah, I have. I played Fall the Fallout series. I enjoy very much for sure. I mean, come on, dude. I just restarted New Vegas. Yeah, by the way. Fallout New Vegas. It. Yeah, yeah. Do you one. remember that motel that with yeah, the dinosaur? Of and course. All? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that mission where you had to shoot some? You had to go to, at night, go to the dinosaur and shoot that person. I think it was a raider or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you so, said, okay. I'm sorry, we're just, we're nerding out here. No, I, I'm yeah. letting you do your Skyrim. thing. Skyrim. Skyrim? I don't like fantasy as much as sci-fi. <laughs> Scissor Brothers! Displayed is the cool new metal poster you'll want in every room, man. They'll have millions of cool designs available featuring gaming, movies, comics, and anime. They also have officially licensed designs from Star Wars, Netflix, and more. Um, like I like the Star Wars stuff, like especially like the uh, Millennium, uh, Millennium Falcon yeah. and like the Stormtroopers and different stuff like that. Righteous. And yeah. guess what? It only took me 20 seconds to uh, hang uh, that up, and there was like no power tools needed. No and... damage, no frustrations. Yeah. Once you mount this bad boy up, you can switch out a new plate in a flash. With every one that you buy, display will plant a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I love trees, cool. dude. Click the link in our description to see some of our favorite displays and save up to 29%. Get 20% off when you buy one or two and 29% off when you buy three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use Scissor Bros when you visit Displate.com. That's Displate.com, code Scissor Bros, or click the link in our show notes. I mean, it's pretty sweet. Like your uh, look there and your muscles. Hey, you too. I mean, as a paramedic, we have to have muscles and know how to save lives. And you know what saved me a lot of time? Putting this up without power tools. Displate. It's pretty good, dude. What's up, Bessie? Yo, what up, dog? Guess what, for Manscaped would like to introduce you to their best, biggest hygiene bundle yet. We need to get it in our commissary. Next week is called the Platinum Package, fool. Well, wait, you're saying that they got a new package for that ass? Simone has say it has this stuff in it, ultra smooth package. You don't have this stuff, huh, fool? Oh, wait a second. You talking about this? This stuff right here? I got double stuff. I got the Wee wait Whacker, fool. You got the Wee Whacker too, Essa? Yeah, and I got the, the ultra smooth package. Mm-hmm. Where's your lawnmower 4.0? I got mine in the, my locker, fool. Mine's coming through the commissary. So like, that comes with the package, the platinum. Well, there's also like a bag that they give you and stuff like that, like an ultra premium collection. So you'll smell fresh from clean the head this to bottle. This is the best, I mean, it really is. It, it really makes is. your balls fresca, everything about them, you know? Yo, can I just tell you, I shaved my ball sack here, and I felt like a human platypus jumping into the water at SeaWorld, and it was beautiful. You're local, fool. Damn. So anyway, the Platinum Package 4.0 covers all bases. It's the best bang for your shebang, shebang I said. Yeah, dog. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SCISSORBROS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off. off plus free shipping with the code SCISSORBROS at manscaped.com. It's time to enjoy the finer things in life. See, all this thing. So, so get yourself a Platinum Package for your, your Platinum Package, yes, dog. Say. Man, Manscaped. Manscaped has yes, been see. real cool to support us, you know what I'm saying? Simone. Oh, yeah. You want to go get some grilled cheese or what, fool? I would love that, but first, can you help me shave my paint hole? Manscaped. <laughs> So I've played Skyrim, and I like it when they put the mod on there that makes the dragon like Macho Man Randy Savage. But oh, Macho Man! Wow, Macho! I remember Macho Man. Here, let's. Ma- I want to hear your Macho Man. Oh yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage. 
Ooh, bite it to a Slim Jim. That's you pretty know? good. That's pretty good. <laughs> But do you remember Slim Jim? Way better than I thought it I, was going to be. Honestly, it was going to be. It, I thought it was going to be Matt. It was way better. It was really solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the, eyes, the energy changes. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. I, I liked. I, I I had the action figures, man. I had the ring. I Did remember, you really? Yeah. I had Hulk Hogan. I had Hillbilly Jim. And then I remember I had the ring, and there they you could kind of bend their arms. They were like, Yeah. yeah. Do you remember make them? them hop? Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, and so any other video games you're playing right now? Mark? Right now, I'm playing a bunch of games all the time. I'm mostly excited. I got Steam Deck, which is really fun. Okay, it's, what's that all about? It's basically if you play PC games, it's their version of like a Nintendo Switch. So you can play the same games that you play on your Steam account and then take them on the go with you. Yeah. So it's really fun. They just go back and forth and play big, like big league games yeah. whenever you want to. That's what's up. That sounds yeah. fun. It is real fun. You have um, Marvel vs. Capcom in your garage mm -hmm. now, and yeah. I got to play that. Man, that took me back. That's awesome. Yeah, it's one of my prized possessions. Yeah. It's that arcade machine. I love it. It's, it's beautiful. dope, dude. Thank you. <clears throat> I think we both have frogs in our throats. Mm. Is that, uh, what, what game is that again? Is that like a fighting game? Is that like a fighting game? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. like you never, fighting? wait, wait, wait. You never played Marvel vs. Capcom? Um, that's when you could play with Street Fighter characters too. Street Fighter, Marvel, oh, Capcom. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. That's that was a minute ago, right? That's oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, yeah. That, those in the arcade. They he has like an uh, he has like a classic arcade setup. Oh, you have an arcade set like a yeah. real console, like an arcade setup. I have setup? three arcade machines in my garage, and then I have two in my office. Wow, where could one get that? Um, there's a few places in LA. Mostly, this the best has been um, either looking on Craigslist or this place that I like in Pasadena called Neon Retro Arcade. They've been helping me find machines when I, when I need them, and they're a great place to just go for a birthday party if you want to hang out. Go to Neon Retro Arcade, but they got me my Miss Pac Man machine and then another machine, my oh. Neo Geo machine. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Neo Geo and the Miss mm -hmm. Pac Man. We all grew up with that. Yeah. Of course, table of course, and, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I want my house to feel like a round table pizza. Yeah. Oh, you grew up with those too? Just yeah, just a salad bar, yeah. <laughs> some Jello with some whipped cream yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Would you ever put animatronics in your house? Uh, no, that seems terrifying at nighttime. Oh, that's Chuck E. Cheese yeah. and, and Showbiz. Yeah, pizza. We we all grew up with that. Too. Oh yeah, no, yeah. but the animatronics, I feel like. This is asking for them to come to life and be possessed. Yeah, it's too much. That's scary. Killed in your sleep by an animatronic? I mean, what if we grow the podcast where we could afford that and, and make Gerald into one and Terrence into one? Where they move? Yeah, where they move. That would be what really they, fun. They yeah. move They move when the, the when the lights go out in here. Um, but yeah, they, they don't move too much. They're pretty still when the podcast, mm -hmm. like when we're filming here. They're pretty respectful. It always scared me as a kid, though, like the showbiz piece, you know. Like the, the yeah, eyes. The whole the show, eyes. Yeah, you can the see eyes behind eyes the fact yeah. you can see behind them into the uh, to the metal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that those will be one of the first things that um, that when robots take over that they will uh, will like unbolt themselves and then start running at people? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Are you scared about the future with uh, technology? In general? Yeah. Sentient, yeah. sentient beings? Yeah. I mean, just scared about the future in life, for you sure. You think it'll be like Terminator, like for real? Like where they take over? Mm. In a world where Carl Winslow is your best for hope to get the machines. I gotta fight these machines, Eddie! <laughs> Steve! Quit throwing pies at these machines! Oh, did I do that? Oh, you don't, you, you were getting old, Steve. Your voice is cracking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this summer. <laughs> Terminator's family's <laughs> matter. <laughs> Dude. Jeremiah, did you, you would tell people how will you tell people how much you enjoyed my potato salad? <laughs> I need to hear about this story. Okay. Ron, give me more context, please.
Jeremiah came over for my um, 3rd of July is a big deal in my house because it's I moved to Los Angeles on the 4th of July so it's my anniversary of coming into town and then I moved into my new house and we were showing our baby and Jeremiah came by and so I made one of my two signature dishes mm -hmm. the other of which mm -hmm. is a macaroni and cheese which is more of a Thanksgiving mm -hmm. time dish and, I, and, the, and this one was the potato salad Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is a next level potato salad. Describe it. Imagine if deviled eggs had an orgy and just started basking in the glow of a sun that didn't spoil them, but rather made them grow and multiply with love. It's in every good. bite oh my goodness. that I had, it was like ecstasy and only good family memories oh in my mouth. My God. How'd you develop this recipe? Right. I just from many years since I was a kid of just oh. making this potato salad it was just the thing oh. that I was involved with and just every, oh. I would try it's adding some things and then I had to it got to a point where you start taking things away when you realize you've gone too far, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And so now I've got it to a good point that even the one Jeremiah tried was missing a, 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 a couple of key ingredients, but it was still good. It was great. And I've been to white friends barbecues i've been to black friends barbecues i've been to korean barbecues <laughs> this potato salad yeah is next level it is i want to try it so bad it i'm getting i'm salivating and i'm getting hungry just thinking about the memory of the I day i want to try some soup ron how do i try your potato salad man uh, you got to be around for an event. I'll be yeah, or, or create an event. Please, and then I could be bring potato salad. I would with love me. it. Someone brought a competitive potato salad in a very oh, nice decorative bowl. And then, then they had to leave it because it was still full. They didn't even want to take the bowl back because it was too they full. They were so ashamed that they're like, keep yeah. the bowl. Yeah. It's a mystery. We don't know. If you if you could tell us, if you all, hey, if you want to talk to a therapist, betterhelp.com. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Funches. Funches. But if you just, also, if you could tell me, if you're the one who left the competitive potato salad dish in my house, just please admit defeat and tell me who you were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even. How do you even begin to make it? I have no idea how you even make that. It dip. just starts with potatoes. I know. I know it starts with potatoes. <laughs> but do do you bake them? Do you boil them? Like how you does boil that them? You boil them. You skin them. You boil them, and then you mash them up, and then you mix them with your with your mixings. You usually um, um mayonnaise based or miracle whip based, ooh, and then ooh, you get, ooh, you, ooh, then you ooh. start, and then where you go from there is up to you. Mm-hmm. And what's the secret ingredient? You won't, you can't say it now. I mean, there's. Some I mean, it's not that hard. It's just uh, the the balance, the balance between the Miracle Whip and the and the uh, yellow mustard and the Dijon mustard, and, and then a little dash of sometimes a little dash of honey and the green oh. onion, and then the um in the the hard boiled eggs, the amount mm. of yolk that you put Oof. in compared to the amount of white egg that you put in, and then making Oof. sure that you had the paprika so that it gets that. <laughs> What's the whole paprika about? What is the paprika? Paprika is so that when it hits your senses, <laughs> that you know really? that it's more than just like mushy potato. Because oh, that's the paprikas. problem when you have a bad potato for salad is that a either it's not enough color to it. They don't use the mustard, so it looks a little gray. It looks a little Dang. like not fun. Wow. And then you don't have that paprika. You don't have that little extra bit of flavor. That little bit of spice. Mm. Is it paprika or paprika? Pap Which, yeah, I like how you say paprika, it. but I mean you can is call that it paprika. Is that red? Is it like chili based, like chili yeah, pepper based? The red one, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Huh. What? What's up? I'm just asking. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. listening. I don't know much about it. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know much about it. Yeah. Well, what about so it? far? We've learned about autism today. <laughs> we've yeah. learned about potato salad. Mm -hmm. And I didn't what know. Split, I didn't know what I, would split our friendship. The amount. The, the amount. amount. The amount. Yeah. And then I also didn't know that Steve has a killer Macho Man Randy Savage impression in his back pocket that he's ready yeah. to flaunt at any moment. He was. He was a beautiful man. Mm -hmm. Is he still around? No. No. Oh, he died. He did. He passed away. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. Heart attack while he was driving a car and oh my hit God. a pole. Was it? Was cocaine involved? I don't. I mean, from previous. 
from build up mm. sure in the background yeah. residual yeah i'm sure it was yeah. hanging out saying yeah. i'm here oh i forgot jake the snake mm-hmm. he's still around you know Remember i did jake? a movie with jake the snake really yeah really yeah i did an indie movie with him oh Let's you don't have to quick. say it was indie <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you gotta. Build you know, it up. Build yourself so up a little bit. Studio yeah. feature with yeah, studio, Jake yeah. the Snake. Yeah, dude, that's not indie, bro. <laughs> do you want to build it up a little bit? Yeah, man. It, yeah, it had a smaller budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of it went to Jake. <laughs> yeah, well, Jake. I'm sure Jake spread it around. I was in. I was in a movie called The Bet. Oh. That, that you can watch on Amazon Prime with with Jake the Snake Roberts, DDP, um, and. Uh, Rest in peace. Uh, Roddy Piper makes a cameo in it. Mm, Roddy Roddy Piper. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a big deal. Tommy Dreamer. Oh, nice. He even made a cameo in it. Wow, this is a lot. Of, this, was, this was just a big wrestling movie. Mm. It was a comedy where the writers were big wrestling fans, and they were like, "Let's like merge." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's some cool mm-hmm. cameos in. It. What was the auditioning on? process like? How do you? Who was your competition there? Like, well, I don't. Well, I have no idea who my competition was necessarily. But, but you had auditioned several times. Can you right? give us a couple of lines from your yeah, audition? Yeah, give us a couple of lines. Oh man. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm trying to think of of like some of the dialogue from this. Yeah. Um. Old man opportunity came and knocked on the door. <laughs> it was like something like oh, that. So this was well written. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a stoner type that didn't smoke oh, weed. Yeah. I was like a, I was like a burnout that lived in a garage. So my character's name was Wiggins, and uh, oh, he Wiggins. lived in the garage with D- with DDP mm-hmm. and uh, DDP's son. And I was best friends with the son. Nice, nice. Yeah, that seems fun. That was fun. Hey, when'd you do this? Two thousand like sixteen, I think. Oh, 15, okay. 16, you, it was never, a while you never. Brought this up ever? You never mentioned any of this. It was a lifetime ago. So much today. Yeah. One thing that I think is cool, that I think that the viewers will think is cool too. You and I both voice characters in the DC universe. That's oh, true. Interesting. I thought that it could be fun that maybe the two of them uh, maybe link up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. I think the I think they're arriving. Start it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite shock of all time. How you doing, Joker? I like that I don't have to really do much compared to you. You <laughs> I'm just here to work on the IT, if you don't mind. Well, everything's a performance with me. Yes, I know that. But yes, the Ethernet cable's loose over there. I don't know what Harlequin did. Well, I can tell you what she's been doing lately with Poison Ivy, but I'm sure, uh, actually, you might be interested. Oh, pray to tell. Well, they've been boning. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> well, we were real happy for them, and you know, we just, whatever, love is love. Can you install maybe a... Uh, camera for security purposes oh absolutely what are you uh what are you, what are you looking for wi-fi base uh you get bluetooth just straight wire cat six what do you want i mean what's this cat six i hear all about wait did you say cat six or bat six well it feels to me like you got some previous issues that we got here before i was here maybe there's some things that you were a little bit preoccupied or concerned with i might have been well i'm just gonna tell you as someone who's been through several bad relationships the one thing you gotta learn to do is move on because only at, at some point you just hurting you they're not hurting you anymore. He's going around Gotham. He's going around space. He's fighting Superman, for God's sakes. He's not thinking about you. I move on when I want to move on. Oh, well, seems like the Riddler just showed up. <laughs> Hi, what are you guys up to? We're talking internet specifications and whatnot. Have you two met each other? No, but I've left some riddles for both of you. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. 
I'm not. I like it when people talk directly. Thank you. Well, there's five million dollars on the oh, line. Oh, here we if you, go. If you, if you, question or answer this riddle, how much money will it take to break up the notorious Scissor Brothers? <laughs> okay, now this I'm interested in. Oh, we'll have to tune in for another time. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like me and Jeremiah are gonna get sued and fired. Quite <laughs> possibly. <sighs> oh, that was fun. Yeah, man, it's crazy yeah. that they uh, stopped by together. Yeah. King Shark and mm-hmm. Joker and Riddler all in one spot. Who would have known? How long you guys been doing the voiceover thing? Ron's been at it longer Ron, than I have. How long have. you been doing uh, that? Uh, honestly, Ron. Uh, was very uh, uh, inspiring to me with the voiceover stuff because I had been wanting to do it for a while mm-hmm. and he kind of was like, well, it's easy to say you want to do it. Mm-hmm. What are you doing about it? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We had one of those like bro conversations where oh, he's really? looking out for Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then how did you break into that market? Uh, well, I mean, for me, it was more falling into it just because I have a fun voice. And I uh, just went in and auditioned. The first thing I, I think the first voiceover thing I auditioned for was for tr- Trolls. And basically, or uh, no, for this show called Home based off the old movie for DreamWorks. And that's how I started working with DreamWorks. And I was a little apprehensive about it because a lot of, my comedian friends were very much into like being purist when it comes to like stand up, just focus on mostly on stand up. Mm-hmm. Um, and but then you know, I just started thinking about some of the people who I grew up looking up to, like Robin Williams yeah. and Chris Rock, and that they had done so much of this type of stuff. Um, and I just got into it and really started falling in love with it because I get to you know find a whole different type of audience of younger people and do different things going to comic-con on yeah you know yeah. this weekend because of that so it's really really fun i like it uh robin williams he was a unique dude huh like yeah multi-talented right? oh yeah uh, one of the most do, talented ever can we do a fun little game uh because i'm a i'm a fan of his movies okay top three robin williams movies oh uh, well, I have to start. Is that no, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start. Well, yeah, let's. I, I can yeah, start. Go, okay. Or if you know yours right off the bat, you can go. Um, I know right off the bat, Hook and Mrs. Doubtfire. I knew Hook, you were gonna say Hook, Mrs. Doubtfire. Hook, Mrs. Doubtfire, Jumanji, easily, easily. Okay. Okay. Easily. Uh, one hour photo. Ooh. Yeah, mm. one hour photo, and uh, oh, Dead Poet Society. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. I also loved the final cut as well. Is he in the okay. fi- is he in the final cut? Right? Wait. Mm. What am I we thinking? We can edit of? that out if he isn't. I'm gonna go with I he was in the final cut. Jumanji, Mrs. Doubtfire, and Aladdin. Oh, Whoa, Aladdin! You ain't never had a friend like oh, me. Oh, <laughs> right. One of my career highlights was for live shows, like career highlights for live shows was I did the uh, the genie from Aladdin. I did my Robin Williams impression. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was an old Kill Tony that we did in New York where Gilbert Gottfried was the the special guest and Joel Jimenez played Aladdin. I played the genie and then we were on there with Gilbert Gottfried and he was cracking up like at our like little quips and stuff the whole time and it just felt so good because he was just such a great comic that I was like, oh, this is so fun. Felt like a weird, like, mm-hmm. closest cast reunion that you can get without the real people. <laughs> That's real fun. That's yeah. beautiful time. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Have you guys ever, uh, Rob, when did he pass away? Do you, do you remember? A while ago. A while ago. A while, a while ago. ago. Yeah. Okay. I was just, I was going to ask if you got because you guys were on the comedy store, if you guys ever, had, like, had an experience, like, interaction with him or something. I just ran into him as a meltdown. He was just oh, buying comic books. I just, he was at Meltdown Comics? Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Meltdown. He I mean, go there, I, yeah. Yeah. I buy comic books all the time. But I just saw him there once, and it was just, you know, it's just I didn't go, go out to him or anything, but it was just a cool experience wow. to just see he was just someone chilling. just chilling, he, buying comic books. He was chilling. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a cool story. Yeah. yeah. Robin Williams just at Meltdown, yeah. 
But my favorite story is from is the Bobcat Goldthwait story because him and Robin were like really really close friends, and he told a story about how um, Robin loved to play Call of Duty and that uh, he was like, come again, say that again. Robin, he likes to play Call of Duty a lot. He was really in the plan online, and then he so that he he said it would always make Bobcat laugh because he was like. He's, he's like, so there's some kid out there who's going, I'm pretty sure the genie from an Aladdin just called me a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's so cool. He played Warzone. Yeah. That's well, so we, we've cool. been way pre Warzone. Oh, so Call of Duty, been... like the OG. This is OG Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah, because I I kind of hopped on it later. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool. He played first person shooters. He was just on there randomly. Yeah. Wow regular it's fun to think of it that way where you're like oh regular i mean he loves video games real I mean he named his daughter I did zelda not know that yeah. he liked video games yeah he said it's just he that he named his daughter zelda you hear that from the legend of zelda i named my i named my child bowser <laughs> Like from the Mario the Bros. Bowser? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get diagnosed. Hey, I'm going to psychiatrist soon, guys. Huh? So all this ADHD, all that, the stuff I'm missing, I want to get that hey, fixed. Man. I'm getting that fixed. Hey. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Massage. You're, you're perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm far from perfect, but hey, at least I'm realizing I'm gonna work on it, guys. Mm, work I want to be more present. And embrace yeah. With all the rest. Yeah. Okay. I want to do two things. Yeah. What's going mm -hmm. on? Well, we always do a challenge on this show. Uh-oh. And uh, we also, before that, I, I kind of want to do a dance break with Ron in the middle. I yeah. Think that, I think that would be fun. Yeah. So I want to do a dance break here in a second. And then after the dance break, we're going to explain what kind of challenge we're doing in the middle. And that's how we're going to close out this podcast. Okay. You down to do a challenge with the Scissor Bros, Ron? It really depends on what it is, because this is the part that I see the most online. So, <laughs> which which challenges have you seen? I mean, it just usually I would boil them all down to like licking whipped cream off of each other's butt cheeks or something. Like that's why I feel like they most of them feel like to me. Well. That's not a challenge. <laughs> I don't think we've, we've done, done yet. We haven't done that, but hey, thank but you, you know for what? the idea. Thank you for the idea. Thank you for and that. Thank you for the episode that you'll see next week on Scissor Bros. <laughs> Man, you know what's hard? I like yeah. my, you know, no, no, let me say this. You know, you, let me say this. I like his you mind. Know, you know what's hard about about Ron about the way he roasts is it goes in <laughs> smoother than a butter knife oh, into man. your heart. Oh yeah, and then I love he it. smiles and's like, "Oh, does this hurt?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm turning it. I love that. Just oh, straight. Wow. I love that about him. Oh, wow. You don't, even, mind, man. you don't even realize that he's roasted you until your body is decomposing and burnt to a crisp <laughs> yeah. outside of the hospital where he dropped you off. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to dance away this negativity. Yeah. Right <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do the challenge and Ron's going to like it and he's going to yeah. do it. Yes. Oh, wait, guys, I forgot the music. Is it okay if I add it in later? Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, so Ron, if you're not familiar, then we're gonna have to dance in silence for a little bit, okay. but mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be a good time. Okay. Okay. All right. And one, two, three. <laughs> I want some too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Date and service. <laughs> That's where I'll be. <laughs> you got every flavor. <laughs> I got every flavor. Every flavor. <laughs> okay. okay. That's not pretty good. That's not pretty good. So basically, uh, there's a there's an internet trend going on right now that is uh, called the tortilla slap challenge, 
And it's where you take tortillas. And everyone fills their mouth with water. Okay. And you slap your friend in the face with the tortilla. With and just the tortilla part? Just the tortilla, not, okay. not hand or anything. Okay. 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 And the first person to laugh or spill the water mm -hmm. loses. Okay. Okay? Okay. Can I ask so why they weren't in a bag? Why did you just <laughs> on a shag carpet to start with? I brought them fresh from a brand new package inside. Okay. Okay. So I put them on the floor over over here, okay. where nobody was stepping. Oh. Okay. All right, that's fine. Oh, look, this is where nobody was stepping. Yeah, where nobody was stepping. Okay, cool. Right? That okay. makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, you get one. Okay. Yeah. I gave you the one in the middle, even. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And then we just, uh, Ron, here's your water? Yeah. Oh. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And the, and the loser, do we know what the loser doing? You want to face the camera? Yeah. Maybe the loser has to eat all the tortillas. Oh, that's not a bad one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The loser has to eat <laughs> all the tortillas. Yeah. All three of them? Yeah. Or at least one. Maybe all three. That's okay, a punishment. Okay. That's a punishment. Okay. So okay. we just have one. So it's so get a mouth full of water. It's got to be pretty full. Okay. And we're rock paper scissoring to see who's going to get slapped. Now there's two tactics to this. Okay. You can the person that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Let's say like you and I, Rochambeau. Yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While the explanation is mm -hmm. going on, face the camera. Okay, so while the like while we're doing Rochambeau, mm -hmm. let's say you lost, okay, mm -hmm. to my Rochambeau. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to either hit you because you lost or sneak attack Ron mm -hmm. to try to make you laugh instead. Okay. You know so what I'm like saying? it's a laughing game. It's a laughing game. Okay. You're yeah. trying not to spill your water. Okay. Okay? Okay, so when do you want us to fill up? I think I say we fill up now. Fill up now, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Here we go.
I, I want Ron and I to face down. Yeah, yeah, you guys do a face down. Yeah, but I, yeah, but yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Here, grab your tortilla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grab your tortilla, grab your tortilla. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. God dang it, I wasn't thinking, why did I laugh? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Love you guys. Come on, in. come on, in, Steve. We love you guys. We love you guys. Ron, do you have anything you want to plug or anything, brother? Before you go? <laughs> Yeah, start munching. Yeah, start munching on it. Uh, Loot on Apple TV Plus is out. Me, Maya Rudolph, Joe Kim Booster, wonderful people. Check that out. Harley Quinn on HBO Max is out July 28th. Check out my podcast, Getting Better with Ron Funches. Also, my new pro wrestling podcast starts on Spotify Live July 31st if you love pro wrestling. Uh, other than that, that's it. Oh, Twitch, come watch me play games. Ron underscore Funches. I'm in the multiverses right now. King Shark for multiverses. Get it trending. Or, or, it's cool if not. I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. I forgot about touring. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in, in Dallas, Texas coming up. Uh, I'll be in uh, in Albany, New York, and Huntington Beach in, uh, at the Rec Room in August, all in August. Steve... Uh, do you have anything you want me to plug for you? Watch watch the Stevie Weeby yeah, show. It's yeah. a great program. Yeah, He's yeah. got a lot of, yeah. of, of good people mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. And we love you guys. And uh, we want to thank our pal Ron Funches mm -hmm. for coming on the show today. Thank mm -hmm. you. Go to ronfunches.com for tour dates. I'll mm -hmm. be in Phoenix, Chicago, Minneapolis, and other places. So come by. All right. Love you guys. Oh, Bye. Finish it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah finish that. Got it. That's a lot of tortilla left. I do not. Do you not chew? Oh, that's fine. That's it it comes paste. It becomes a paste. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be difficult. Yep. Well, we're gonna time lapse. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still all tortilla, right? No hand, right? Oh, no, it's all tortilla. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all tortilla. Oh, you look like you're in 
endangered species. Like we found you at the bottom of a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just water and a pile of tortillas, please. Coming out's gonna be hard too. Hello. still there? It's your pal Gerald and I gotta apologize to my friend Ron Funches who's nothing but a sweetheart and sat in the corner next to me with tons of glee and I threatened to fight him. I don't know what's going on with me lately guys. I guess I've just been a little bit down but I guess that's what Scissor Bros is best for. Bringing you out of a dark hole. So I just want to say, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing positive weekend. And you get your dicks and clits wet. Because, you know, outside of love, friendship, family, and if you believe in the higher power or whatever, sex is pretty lit. Okay, love you guys. Bye! He looks up to the sky and he sees the moon and one single star and that star's name is Rome. That star's name is Rome.